Shalom family. So today I'm going to share the process of a custom tea blend. So I have an idea of the kind of tea or decoction that I want to make today for someone. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of how I do it. So I get the herbs that I have selected that I want to work with. Whenever I'm pulling these herbs, I may see other herbs and I may just put them all out on the table. Everything here is not something that I necessarily have to use, but I'll decide that as I keep going. So the first step is you definitely want to make sure you open up all the jars. You want to make sure you get your tool of your measuring. So I like to use a fourth a cup, a tablespoon, and a teaspoon. That's typically what I like to use when I make these blends. And each person's blend will be a little bit different depending on what their needs are will determine one, the measurements that I mostly use. And it also will determine what it looks like. So I never know going into it. And I always, as I said in my other video, and I'll link it if you want to watch the extended video of the process, but I always walk through, I give myself 24 hours to marinate on each person. So I work on a tea a day. That's the, the most that I uh, take on because I want to make sure that I am I am really thinking about everything and really meditating and, and leaving it over to y'all to help me perfect the blend. Praying for them, all of that, right? So the ingredients that I have out right now, marshmallow root, aletha root, also known as Siberian ginseng. We have ashwagandha root. I have the root, a little bit of it cut in sections, and then I also have some powder, but I prefer to use the whole root. I have here some wild yam. I have here some Solomon seal root. I have some astragalus and some oat straw, and I have some turmeric root. Just a little bit. I'm waiting in between to get more turmeric ready. So I know what I want the base of the blender, so what's going to be the most. So I'm going to start with my marshmallow root and get it portioned out. And I like to divide it into portions so you can see what's the most, what's the least, and all of that. And also to show visually how a tea blend will look when it comes together. I like a Luthero as my primary. Sometimes you get a little bit more. That's why I like to have it portioned so I can get a little extra if I need to. And I have a pen and pad so I can write down everything. So I do stop down periodically. Turmeric, I know, is another one that I really want to make sure I get a good amount of. So we're going to see how much I have because I plan on using the rest of what I have. My stragglers. So when I'm making the formulas, I do go by really what I think or, or what I see is needed. I need to look at the part of the body that really needs help and assistance. So for this blend, really is all about adding support to the immune system, especially I'm looking at the component. I'm going to add in some goji's. Really supportive. Here. And this is too much of the same kind of blah color on this side. So move them over here. And we're going to have just a bit of cranberries. Think we're looking pretty good.
So here's a good question. So how do you know when you're formulating how many herbs is enough and how do you know when to stop? And the answer is trust. So one, you have to trust yourself and trust your intuition and trust that you know what you're doing. You have to trust the herbs, you know, that they work and that they can do the things that you're trying to do to help the person. And then you need to trust also the creator because you know, one, what he said about you. If he said that this is your call and that means he's giving you every single thing that you need to be able to do it. So you just need to tap in and you just need to believe it on your own. You need to have faith. And then you need to also trust what he said about herbs. There's a reason why he's mentioned it's used for us in Genesis and in Revelation, the beginning to the end. So in his perfect plan, it's us using and utilizing herbs. So the principal thing is wisdom. And then all you're getting, get understanding. So that's what we are trying to do. And the more that you do, the more it will just come naturally to you and you'll understand. And so right at the end, I decided elderberries. Elderberries pop into my head. And without overthinking it, if it's popping up right before I'm finished, it's a reason for it. It needed to be in here. So now I feel like it's complete. I'm confident. Always need to be feel confident before you start and after you stop. And that's what worked for me. Shalom, family. So now we are at my desk and I, I'm at a crossroads because I forgot to bring an herb downstairs. And I felt like that was really necessary, but I didn't add it. And so I'm wondering if there was a reason why I totally forgot it. But anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and package the tea because I felt confident in it. And I could take them all out and add more, but I don't know if it was needed. So what I'm doing. And it's so funny how you can go from being so confident to now second guessing. But I'm going to go ahead and set up my box. So this is the box that the custom tea is in and it will be a tight fit. Lining everything up. Putting the box together. I put some... Um, Tissue paper on the bottom. This one has nice little sparkles. Okay, so now inside, put a little bit of um, shredded paper in here, which I have this little box here filled. So I'm just transferring from here to here. White crinkle paper line the bottom of it really I like to put it along the edges and right in between the teeth I got so I already assembled some things that I need for the tea one big bag and one small bag to fill the teas hopefully hers fits in it she might actually need two big bags today and then we have little freebies that we put spoon scoop and a honey dipper. I'm gonna go ahead and now close the tea bags and I'm gonna start putting them in her bag. So I counted, I think 36 tea bags or something like that. So I'm gonna have to count them again. And so I never give the, I never give the suggestion that you should take the tea every day. I always make sure you have some kind of rest period because the body naturally knows how to heal itself. But sometimes it may need a little bit of help. And so we help but and we support, but then we also need to give the body a break so that it can do on its own. Because we're not forcing the body to do things. People tend to want tea bags. It does become a little bit longer because I would just fill up this whole portion with tea if it was just the loose tea, but a lot of times people want the tea bag, so it takes longer for me. And I don't charge them extra because I know some people don't have the capacity, but maybe I will, maybe I should. Mm. 
Now here's the other bag of tea. So actually all that is left for me to do, I'm going to put these right here. And to put in the instructions. And there's my card. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see. Okay, there's one. There's the other. There we go. So now we just need to write up her individual instructions, put it in here, and then we're going to ship it off. So I also forgot to put this card in here. It's double-sided. This is the free 30-day trial that anyone can join. It's our herb of the month. And you can get a card just like this one. And actually, let me show you guys one of them. A sample of one of the cards that we sent. It's laminated, so it's nice and shiny. It won't get dirty. It's double-sided. And we have a recipe on here. It gives you information, including contraindications, all about a plant each month and it changes and you can also upgrade to the herb care package and you can actually get an ounce of herbs with it so along with that we also give monthly coupons and they're really good and they change every 30 days and it's kind of like you know the biggest sale the black fridays or whatever you get that every month so we had like five dollars off of books um, and three dollars off the ebook for one month. We had twenty five percent off of herbs, so we just change it, and it's just for the herb of the month community. And then we have a special letter that I type out, and people have really been responding well to this. So I want to let you guys know while we are still doing the free trials. And if you love your item, I also have it in here where you can scan it, and you can leave a review. So I'm gonna leave this in here for her to enjoy as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you did. Check out the link below to join my tea blending course. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.